Hi, welcome to Hard to Visit Info Channel Dear Viewers. In front of me Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra device and now I'm gonna show you how to make this device faster. So first let's start with the question of why your phone is slowing down. Basically it's because your phone can't handle the load you have put in it. This is either because the phone is not powerful enough to do that you want to do, but not in our situation, because this is a very powerful device, or uh, because you are not taking good care of it. So, despite the bow, if you follow the instructions I'm about to give you, you will be able to keep your device always in good condition, so that it works at its best. So, uh, firstly, if your device overheated, so you just need to cool it down. Um, to do it, just, just disable your device for 5 or 10 minutes and enable it again. Uh, because when your device is overheated, uh, your device is slowing down with its name's throttling, uh, because the uh, device don't want to, to to disable because it overheated and it uh, starts to tr throttling uh, to not to damage your uh, smartphone components. So if your device is overheated and it's slowing down, just disable your device for five minutes and enable it again. Okay, and the next, uh, the next aspect that can slow down your device is your memory. Yes, in our device we have really fast memory, you see uh, 4.0, this is the fastest memory ever, uh, but um, you know that uh, your memory is a limited resource and often always the winner is the one who invests in a device with more built-in memory. So. If you will feel your memory over than 70%, your device will start to slow down because, um, because your memory is a resource and your processor is constantly searching for files uh, in your memory when you are opening the any application, your processor is searching for files for this application in your memory and when your memory is filled up, uh, so your device doing this slower. So you need to take care of, uh, of your space. So as you can see, in my case, I have now a new device, uh, so I will show you it. Wait a while. Um, wait a while. Okay, battery and device KU. Here we have storage. So I have only 11% used. But if you have over than 70%, you need to uh, you need to free up your space. So you can do it in uh, two, three different ways. First way is to remove all unused applications and games. Uh, second step you can do is to upload your photos and videos to the cloud storage and remove it from your device. You can uh, upload your photos and videos to the OneDrive storage uh, or to the uh, Google storage. Every uh, cloud storage gives you free gigabytes for, uh, for, for use. For example, uh, Google Drive gives you 15 gigabytes for free then you need to pay for it. Um, OneDrive gives you 10 gigabytes for free, then you need to pay for it. You can use any other cloud storage. For example, you can try Mega Drive. Mega Drive gives you 50 gigabytes for free. So you need to find the best uh, cloud storage for you and then just use it. Okay. Then you can recycle, uh, you can uh, clear your recycle bin. So just uh, open storage in the settings, click, click on the three dot. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, I can't. Okay, maybe I can't uh, clean up my recycle bin with my settings. So, but you can uh, clean up your recycle bin using your jewelry and files application. 
Uh, to clean up recycle bin, just open your uh, jewelry, click on the three sticks button, click, oh, so, sorry, click settings, scroll down, here you will see recycle bin, recycle bin must be enabled, then go back, click on this button again, click recycle bin, and here you will see all uh, removed uh, photos and videos, so just click on three dots button, click empty, click delete. Great! So recycle bin was successfully uh, was successfully empty. So the second way you can do uh, is to remove files from files recycle bin. So just find files here. You can use Google Files. It's it's pre-installed application and buy files. It's Samsung pre-installed application. So open files for example. Click hello and here I have no removed uh, files now so I have no uh, files in bin as you can see but you can open clean but uh, clean uh, so sorry clean uh, clean item and in clean you can remove all your files uh, from recycle bin and of course of course uh, the sort uh, aspect that can slow down your device is the trash files, is harmful files. files. The sort, uh, so the sort party applications you have, and all applications uh, on Android devices or in Android operation system, literally leaving a uh, lot of chunk, uh, unnecessary files that are not noticeable to the average user of the device. In order to clean these files, you need this program, files uh, program, files with the uh, pre installed applications, built in application. So open files, find here clean, uh, and just uh, here you will see button for clean. So I have, so sorry, I have here, I have here, okay. So here you can uh, remove large files, but large files, it's just uh, large files. You can free up more space by deleting applications. And uh, here you will see the button to remove junk files. I have not this button because, uh, as you can see, because I have new device, I have no junk files now. But if you are using your device, uh, during one, two weeks, so you will have the button to clean up junk files on your device. Okay, and the last aspect that can slow down your device, this is the RAM. So, ra RAM can negatively affect your device when you have the lack of RAM. So, um, of course, the winners, again, the one who invests in device with uh, with more uh, temporary storage. So uh, all the processors pro processes are running at the moment are running RAM. Uh, all processes the processor doing in the moment are running uh, are running in RAM. So RAM needs to be freed sometimes and if you want to free up your RAM just click on the three dots button and just close all application you can click close all or uh, unload and just running applications to free up your RAM storage and good that's it thanks for watching like this video subscribe to the our channel and bye see you